Hello, creative weirdos. Welcome back. I love these challenge videos, you guys. Today's challenge is special and different. We are taking that most pinned image. You guys know what I'm talking about. The image of the bed with the twinkle lights and the gauzy fabric. Everyone's always sending me that picture going, how do I get this look? And I've never gotten to do it before. And today we are working with Jaleesa. She's 22. She's a student. She works four jobs. She's really busy. But it is her dream to finally have a pull together bedroom. So we are going to try to do it in a day. We get to work with Cost Plus World Market. They're sponsoring today's video, which means we get to go raid the store. I'm so excited. Not only does Julissa love the gauzy twinkle light look, she also loves color, the bohemian thing, all of that globally inspired texture and everything. So yay. It's going to be a challenge, but it's going to be fun. I'm nervous. I'm excited. Let's set the clock. Ah! Are we ready? Let's go meet her. Knock, knock. I'm Mr. Cake. Oh, you don't even need the introduction. You already know who this is. I'm Mr. Cake. I'm here. I'll take a look at your place. I'll stop by for a while and help you find your stuff. We'll walk and we'll paint Mr. Cake. Oh, I'm Mr. Cake. to be here because the bed that you like mm -hmm. is probably the most pinned image ever. No, it is. And I was like so excited to find it. Right Style there. that you mm -hmm. like with the twinkle lights and the gauze color, mm -hmm. the, the bohemian pillow. So you grew up in New Jersey, right? Yes. I'm born and raised from Roselle, New Jersey. But my <laughs> parents are Haitian immigrants. Yes. I can speak Creole. Like, <gasps> make a Creole. Cunha seems like I'm actual. So the Haitian thing, the Caribbean thing, that's mm -hmm. a lot of color, mm -hmm. that's a lot of pattern and texture. Yes, definitely. And the only thing you really have going on in here color-wise is this quilt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna glow up the space. Oh, right? glow up 2018. <laughs> you are a student. Yes. You have your desk over here. Yes, you go Trojans, another shout out. I feel like yeah. I have to do. So you have another year in school. Yes. But yeah. we need to have the desk in here because you yes. got stuff. Lovely. Bed goals, mm -hmm. but keeping it kind of day bed with the orientation of it against the wall. It's almost like a couch vibe. Yeah, that's what I want. I want my friends to come over and they don't see a bed really. They see like a couch they could sit and we could all hang out. And have yeah, mm -hmm. I love that. Okay. So you have a bunch of jobs, right? Yes. So basically I'm working about four jobs right now oh trying to... And pay yeah. rent. Uh, yeah, it's, it's hard so being expensive. a student. I'm a little bit away from my campus now, so it's a little bit more expensive. And so I've been working so many jobs trying to pay my rent. Find it worth it. Like, you know, yeah. like, wow, look at my beautiful space. How is it mm. even possible to work four jobs in English school? I drop down to part-time at USC. Mm -hmm. So I go once a week gotcha. all day. The rest of the week, I am working. Well, so. so a bed is like your magical place. I know. I applaud you. That's mm. hard mm. to be doing all that you're doing. So I'm really excited. Me too. <laughs> I've watched all your videos to really prepare myself for this moment right now. <laughs> you have obviously a lot to do between your jobs and me, students. So do your thing. I'm gonna go shopping and we gotta go find Jelly. And I'm excited. And I hope it's cute. I know it's gonna be cute. It's gonna be cute. I know. It's gonna be cute. Super, super Yay, let's Yay. go. Ah! <laughs> all right, we're in the car on our way to Cost Plus World Market. Woo woo. Look at Jelly. Hi, Hi guys. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? We need to clean out our car. Then. So, plan is try to get as much stuff as possible at Cost Plus World Market, which is perfect because it has that like global inspired, colorful, bohemian aesthetic. It's perfect, perfect. Okay. Parking lot, are we here? So, the canopy drapey situation is a must. It's got to be magical. Please take a ticket. Oh my gosh, this is packed. Guys. Mr. K coming through! Okay guys, we are in World Market. Oh, I'm so excited. I mean, there's so much stuff here. Obviously guys, this is like a mecca for holiday decorating. Hello, <laughs> hello holiday right here. Always year round here because it's globally inspired. There's just so many colors and they have all the like technical stuff too. And curtain rods and curtains and everything. Raid the <laughs> store today. That's Joey's back. I just said curtain rods and Joey just backed into a wall of curtain rods. <laughs> this beautiful blush chair. Julissa loves pink. 
first purchase in the cart. I say we do bed stuff first, and then like basics, like furniture, desks, kind of other bookshelf, because that bookshelf she has right now is really narrow. Want... This quilt is so pretty. Isn't this pretty with pink? Mm-hmm. So we're getting that. Yeah. But... So this one uh -huh. is 54 wide. Oh, it's perfect. So we want that desk. Boom, boom. And that chair. Those oh are all twinkle lights. Oh my gosh. Lights. Well, those are all the like micro ones, mm -hmm. you know? Oh, these have little stars on them. Look at that one. Oh, oh yeah. A little gold mesh. Oh yeah, that is cool. And we cool. can use it with the bulb kit like that. So we could hang it, we could swag it. it from anywhere. Dude, that's swag, Dan. Anywhere from the swag, dude, that's swag, Dan. Here is what I love about World Market. Mm -hmm. They have 96 inch curtain panels. They even have 108 inch curtain panels. Huh. So what I'm thinking, we could make a canopy over the bed, a curtain rod up at the top, like uh -huh. the corner, and we could tie a bunch of curtains onto the curtain rod up on the ceiling, swag it back, hang more curtains on the curtain rod over in the wall corner. Does that make sense? No. Strung up there, but swooping up uh -huh. to the crack. Uh -huh. More curtains down the back. Crack to the back, <laughs> crack to the back, curtains to the crack, curtains to the crack. Look at these beautiful, a cat pattern. Beautiful for her window. Pattern, beautiful, yes, bringing in the blue. Look at that, look how they're friends, yep. right? But we need to make them friends by bringing in a solid. You want that kind? We got that kind. <laughs> you want this kind? We got that kind. Yeah. Hey, pillow wall, you want pillow me. wall, you want pillow me. wall. <laughs> look at you. Joey, 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 come over here. Okay, so here is the pillow story. So see, these are obviously very different patterns. It's important to justify that with solids. Finding common colors between these two help them communicate. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that chicness. Can we check out now? I think we're pretty good. We got the dresser, we're getting that one, right? It's not a dresser, because she has a bookcase right now. So we're basically replacing the bookcase with this, so she can store everything that's on the bookcase away behind cabinets, which makes it look so much cleaner. Wait, look at how gorgeous this is. It'll go well on existing carpeting, it'll lay well. Look at this poof we got too. <gasps> guys, guys, look at this. I love this swing arm look because we're trying to give her like hip bohemian, you know? Over the desk, it's gonna look really cool. Because we're having so much pattern and everything, we'll bring in some simple designs to, you know, juxtapose. Ooh, a faux cactus. Wow, it looks so real. I'm wearing a basket, handbag, and a mirror. Oh my gosh, I love toffee. Popping candy. Stuff for her desk. Oh my gosh, look how pretty this is. Let's do this. Here, to get inspired, I want to watch their video. Let me sit in this couch back here. It's like I'm in a movie theater. <laughs> this is their holiday guide video. Cutie. <gasps> it's a llama. There were lots of llamas. Aww. <laughs> oh, he was practicing for his recital. You guys are probably like, what did you just watch? You can find out for yourself. Link is in the description, worldmarket.com backslash llama. Here, I'll give you a clue. Oh no, Joey like pick that, and it really annoys me. <laughs> so we're gonna get some accessories, and then we're gonna hit up the hardware store. Wanna get some paint, cause that wall color is and just a couple other technical items, and we'll see you back in the room. Joey! <laughs> oh my gosh, Joey! Project making this bed the most magical thing within what? Making four hours? <laughs> this bed the most magical thing? Yes, we need to make this Pinterest, Tumblr, Twinkle Lights goal. I, I don't understand what's going on with the headboard. I think she was trying to make it feel like a day bed. For the sake of budget and time, we're gonna keep the bed frame, keep the mattress as is, yeah. and take away this headboard. 
because this is just gonna conflict with our twinkle lights. Right. Replacing that overhead with something magical. TV on the wall, Getting new credenza with new credenza. the books and all of her papers tucked away. She's a student, she needs to work. Pa Shelf. Oh yeah, we also have to paint everything. Yeah, because this beige is just not happy. Okay guys, we are really spending the majority of our time on that bed in the room because we really need to make it look as magical as possible, but I can't let a bedroom go without a DIY piece of art. Today, I am doing something that's actually from the book, A Hot Glue Gun Mess by me, Mr. Kate. I'm going to do this burnt paper art and I'm actually gonna do a little bit of a twist on it. In the book, I burn the paper, but keep it kind of more minimalist neutral without adding color. But since the room is so colorful, I have my watercolor on hand and I'm gonna do a wash of color over the burnt paper design. This DIY does involve fire, so whoop, cue the disclaimer, have water on hand, adult supervision. We are going to be using a lighter. So lighter, pot of water, my watercolors for later. I have a big pad of paper here and then I of course have a frame I'm going to put my art in after. Okay. I'm sure you guys have made snowflakes before. This DIY is very similar to that idea and you can get as creative as you want with the folds. All right, this is my weird little folded napkin. My pot of water on hand. So I'm just lighting all the corners, center folds as well. So here we go. All right, so now this paper is fully saturated and wet, but you know what wet paper is great for? Watercolor paint. Ooh, look at how pretty. So I'm gonna use a big brush because this is a big piece of paper and I really just kind of want to do a wash of color over the paper as opposed to any kind of design. Joey, it looks so good in here though! So this is basically curtain hell. <laughs> How many curtains are we hanging close. in total? We have one, two for the window. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten curtains. I quit. I can't do ten curtains again. Joey, but this is like the Everest of curtain job. Come back, Joey! creating a DIY way to hang this curtain rod from the ceiling. The end point of our canopy, we need it to hang from some eye hooks, you know, just the little screws with hooks, which Joey's putting up. This wire is nice and flexible, but it's also strong because obviously we want it to stay secure to the ceiling. Okay. Okay, watch the ceiling. Watch. If you ever want to show you, you put these down. It's true, it is a stage. Where did you get those? I grew them. Joey! Uh -huh. 
Oh my gosh, you're my angel! I'm your angel! My curtain painting angel! angel. <laughs> I, like my, I know, Joey, I'm trying to steam these! Okay, guys, the art is dry. Look at how pretty. So I'm just gonna put this behind the mat and get it up on the wall. Okay, so the plan is we're gonna run the twinkle lights down at the back and then up over and across to this rod. We're gonna wrap them around so they're nice and secure. Then we're gonna use these panels to cover them up. They're gonna run underneath. If you're gonna be plugging in a bunch of twinkle lights, plug them all into a power strip. So when you leave for the day, you can just switch them off, Joey. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a beautiful feeling. <laughs> when you're dancing on the ceiling. Okay, here's the thing. I'm not crazy about fire safety, but I'm- Paranoid. I'm paranoid. Even though these are LED and they're like low power and they're probably completely 100% fine. I'm screwing little eye hooks into the wall and the ceiling so Separate that- Separate them from the fabric. I do appreciate your paranoia. All right. Look how pretty it is. Very pretty. Okay, natural fiber for our bohemian queen. Okay, so we're gonna flip, flip it. it. Ooh. So some of you have asked in the comments, what is the rule about putting a rug over carpeting? And the key is just to make sure that it is a heavy rug and a thick rug, either a shag or a natural fiber like this so that it doesn't pucker and buckle. And if you're gonna put a rug over a rug, that means you gotta really lay into the rug cuddle. <laughs> it's usually only reserved for old you have to, but in the season of giving, I think we should do it. Right Magical bed deserves a rug cuddle. I see where I wanna judge it, do you see? <laughs> see the big dipper of zhuzhing right there. Mm-hmm. I love you. So pretty. Nice. Do, 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 do. Yes, pillows inside. Okay, okay, slow down. Here's a tip, guys. Leave the tags on as you style your throw pillows. Make sure you like the look first before you remove them in case you want to return it. welcoming colorful room like a little bowl of candy guys when you are styling a day bed especially one where you don't have bedside tables a tray is like an essential thing a little bit of candy it's just a way to bring in some color and a little mug and just some napkins all right guys so i think we're done what do you think <laughs> how this all came together. We fully brightened up the room with the white walls. We brought in more established furniture that's more size appropriate. She had a really small desk before. We found one to fit perfectly in this space that really feels now like a little study nook away from the bed. We've got the beautiful credenza with the door so that all that clutter that she saw before on her bookshelves stowed away behind doors. Yay, we don't see it anymore. We mounted her TV. I really love the DIY artwork. I think it brings like a pattern that 
you kind of see happening over here, over to this wall. Let's just have a moment for this bed. We created such magic with the twinkle lights and the fabric. That was key, right? These curtains diffusing the twinkle lights so you don't know right away that they're just holiday lights that you can buy really inexpensively. So this whole project you could do for like 150 bucks. We have a plant over in the corner just to bring in some greenery over there and I love the curtains over here. I mean, I just love everything. More importantly, I really hope that Julissa loves it. Joey went to go get her, so it's almost time for the big reveal. I have your Pinterest goals. Go okay, ahead. You ready? don't have to close your eyes. You know. <laughs> Come in. Whoa. Dresser? Yeah, well this is because you have so much storage oh, in your wow. closet. Basically a side where there's all kinds of shelves in there. You can put your books, you can put clothes in there, whatever. Put your TV on the wall. I know, it's mountain. The walls are different colors, yeah, right? Yeah, because they were beige before. Mm -hmm. And even though you love color, I wanted this to be the star. Yeah, it like brightens up like yes. the room. And I DIY that art for you right there. Ah, did you? Yes. Yes, I just folded it up original. and burned the edges. Oh, no. I just want to be home now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's perfect. That's yes. the goal. And I put the tray there so that oh when you are in bed and you want to like, eat, you're, you're like, like okay, yeah. look, now you have a tray to eat your food. I feel like <laughs> a yeah. grown up. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I have like a grown up room while still maintaining myself. Yeah. yeah. Like whose room is this? Magical <laughs> blessing. Sand glass uh, or whatever it goes. Whoa. Things. A little notebook oh my and gosh, the giant actually, paper clip. Are my favorite thing. But, okay, so you know the challenge was to make this magical. Do you think you succeeded? Definitely. Magic. I feel magical just standing in this room. Right? I know. It makes me feel like a princess. Like I'm gonna fall in bed and become like a fairy. So it's definitely beautiful. And Yay. Good. Yay. Well, enjoy your room. Thank you. Give me a hug. You oh. were such a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so we much wish you all the love. Oh, sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Magic. I'm going to sweet, like, sleep like a princess. Be a princess, queen. Queen I princess. Love you. Bye. Bye. This is really like the cutest room ever. Oh. oh my gosh, that was such a long day, you guys. Well, it looks like it's light out. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Angelisa's parking garage. Pretty much used everything. Got one return, one, one thing didn't fit. Yeah, the floral lamp. I'm really exhausted. I know, we're so tired, you guys. But it was worth it because Jalisa is so happy and that bed looks so good. We, we made magic happen. Twinkle lights always look so magic, especially when they are, keyword guys, diffused. Okay guys, so you know what to do. Give the video a thumbs up if you loved it. Leave us a comment, let us know what your favorite part of the room was. Wish Jaleesa some good luck in there, studying and sleeping and watching TV. And also follow us on social media. Oh yeah, and subscribe. And go, um, I'm gonna let's go to dinner. dinner. Yeah, let's go to dinner. <laughs> subscribe and let's go to dinner. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how she does it. Oh, I don't know how you do it. You're so sweaty because you work so hard. I really appreciate everything you do. Yeah, work hard for that money. Obviously, I couldn't do it without Joey. Okay. All right, All guys. Right. Love you. See you next Bye. time. Bye. Mwah. Ladies and gentlemen, at six and a half inches tall. <laughs> Originally from Indiana, oh, we by way of Boston to Los Angeles, hanging three curtain rods. Woo! Yeah. Yay!